In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on May 24, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Chicago Cubs vs. St. Louis Cardinals The National League Central will kick off a fresh three-game series this Friday, featuring a showdown between the Chicago Cubs and the St. Louis Cardinals. Chicago has dominated recent encounters with St. Louis, winning six out of their last seven matchups overall, including three of the past four at Busch Stadium. Their pitching staff has been particularly formidable, holding the Cardinals to three runs or fewer in their last five encounters and maintaining an impressive 3.29 earned run average over 13 games against them last season. On the offensive front, St. Louis has struggled notably at home, ranking poorly in key categories such as batting average and slugging percentage. Adding to their challenge, Chicago's pitchers have shown prowess away from home, ranking among the top 10 in road earned run average. St. Louis's home field advantage has been underwhelming this season, with a win rate of less than 50% at Busch Stadium. Recent series at home have been disappointing for the Cardinals, including a three-game sweep by the Milwaukee Brewers. Additionally, Miles McCoy Colas, slated to start for St. Louis, has had a rough patch in his last three outings, with a six-earned run average and allowing over 10 hits per nine innings. Despite recent struggles, the Cubs find solace in the presence of their ace, Imanaga, who has only suffered one loss when on the mound this season. Conversely, skepticism surrounds Mikolas, whose home earned run average sits around six this season, making him vulnerable to opposing teams. Imanaga's stellar performance thus far has justified his rookie status, earning him the label of the Cubs' ace. Consequently, the Chicago Cubs' money line emerges as our full-game side pick. Examining historical matchups, McCullough's boasts a solid track record against the Cubs, with a 2.58 earned run average and a 1.21 WHIP in 17 starts and two relief appearances. Previous encounters between these teams at Busch Stadium have tended towards low-scoring affairs, with only 27 runs scored during their last four-game series last season. Cubs pitchers have consistently stifled the Cardinals, with a 3.29 earned run average in their last 13 games against them and limiting them to three runs or fewer in five of their last six encounters at Bush. With both teams ranking low in offensive metrics at home, the likelihood of rapid scoring surges diminishes. Additionally, recent trends indicate a propensity for the Cubs to push or go under the run total in their games, particularly on the road, where their pitching staff has excelled. Meanwhile, Cardinals pitchers have demonstrated the ability to limit opponents to three runs or fewer in recent outings. Heading into this matchup, the Cubs have been trending towards lower scoring games, a trend likely to continue with Imanaga on the mound. With an impressive league best earned run average of 0.84, Imanaga poses a significant challenge to the Cardinals' offense, especially in the absence of their top hitter, Contreras. Imanaga's recent performances, which have seen him concede only three earned runs in his last five starts, suggest he's poised to stifle the Cardinals once more. Coupled with the Cubs' middling ranking in run production and the Cardinals' struggles at the plate, expectations lean towards another low-scoring affair. Notably, the Cubs have gone under in seven of their last ten games. Considering these factors, signs point towards a lower-scoring contest in St. Louis for the series opener, making under the projected total our full-game total pick. New York Yankees vs. San Diego Padres The upcoming weekend will witness a thrilling three-game series between the New York Yankees and the San Diego Padres, commencing on Friday, May 24th. Currently, the Yankees hold the top spot in the American League East Division, boasting a comfortable three-game lead over Baltimore. Their recent form has been impressive, clinching victory in nine of their last 11 matchups. On the other hand, the Padres, with a record of 27-26, have also been on an upward trajectory, securing victories in five of their last seven games. Presently occupying second place in the National League West Division, San Diego aims to maintain its momentum. Friday night's clash between the Yankees and the Padres is anticipated to be a tightly contested affair, primarily due to the stellar performances of both teams' pitching staff. 
However, the decisive factor will likely be the ability to capitalize on crucial scoring opportunities. Notably, the Padres have struggled offensively on their home turf, posting a batting average of .226, a statistic that may prove inadequate against the formidable pitching of Carlos Rodon. Conversely, the Yankees exhibit a more consistent batting performance, maintaining a .269 average throughout the month of May, including an impressive .259 on the road. Consequently, the New York Yankees' money line is our full-game side pick. The Yankees face a formidable challenge against Yu Darvish, who has showcased remarkable prowess with a dazzling 2.35 earned run average when pitching at home. Furthermore, the Padres' pitching rotation has been exceptional, limiting their opponents to three or fewer runs in five of their last seven outings. While expectations are high for the Yankees to secure a win against Rodon, it's worth noting his solid career earned run average of 3.79 against San Diego, suggesting a potential defensive struggle. Additionally, the Padres have averaged a modest 3.8 runs in their previous 10 games, further indicating a trend towards low-scoring encounters. Notably, the under has prevailed in seven out of the Yankees' last 10 road games, reinforcing the likelihood of a game characterized by tight defensive play. Consequently, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Houston Astros vs. Oakland Athletics Fresh off an exhilarating victory, the Athletics are gearing up to face the Astros in the opening game of an Al West series. The Astros, on the other hand, have stumbled in recent outings, losing two of their last three games. Despite a six-game winning streak earlier, they faltered, dropping three out of five games. During their winning streak, they swept the Athletics in a four-game series. Presently, they find themselves six games under .500 with a record of 22-28, occupying the third spot in the American League West, trailing the leaders by 4.5 games. In contrast, the Athletics are riding the momentum of an extra-inning triumph, securing victory in two of their last three games subsequent to a seven-game losing streak. However, they find themselves at the bottom of the American League West alongside the Los Angeles Angels, both teams trailing by 6.5 games from the top spot. Looking back, the Athletics have won two of their last three games, while the Astros have suffered defeat in two of their recent three outings. Houston's dominance was evident when they swept Oakland in a recent and four-game series at home, outscoring them 22-4. Notably, Verlander, a key figure in the Astros' rotation, missed out on pitching during that series. Despite some fluctuations in his recent performances, he has historically performed well against Oakland and is poised for a strong showing in this game. Conversely, the Astros struggled in their last game, managing only two runs, but they are anticipated to bounce back against Stripling, whose earned run average surpasses five. Houston, coming off a series loss against the Angels, has displayed improved performance over the past fortnight, particularly in their offense. Meanwhile, Oakland secured a series win against Colorado, albeit their pitching staff struggles over the last month. Ross Stripling, with his elevated earned run average and WHIP, is entrusted with the mound for the Athletics, while Houston places their hopes on Verlander, who has delivered decent performances thus far in the season. Although it's been challenging to fully trust the Astros, particularly with Verlander's inconsistent form, this matchup presents an opportunity for the veteran pitcher to shine. The Athletics, amidst a turbulent phase, have had mixed results against right-handed pitchers, while the Astros have excelled against them, possibly giving them an edge. Additionally, Stripling has often received inadequate run support, further favoring the Astros in this encounter. Despite Houston's recent struggles against the Angels, banking on Oakland's pitching vulnerabilities seems prudent. Hence, the Houston Astros' money line is our full-game side pick. Moreover, the Astros' bullpen has been in stellar form, boasting an impressive 0.9 earned run average over the last 10 days and 40 innings pitched. With Verlander expected to deliver a strong start, the bullpen's reliability adds further confidence in Houston's ability to secure the win. Conversely, Oakland's bullpen has been less impressive, recording a 4.41 earned run average and 4.75 Fahrenheit IP over the same period. Considering these factors, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.